So what is the number one thing you need to absolutely do even before you create your website so that you have an online presence? The answer to that is set up your Google My Business account properly. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your Google My Business account, and I'm going to be providing you some tips on how to optimize it. If you are new to this channel, Digital Dental Marketing Made Easy, consider subscribing. I am your host, Natalia Porras, and with every video, I like to provide you some tips around digital marketing that will help you grow your practice. Without further ado, let's dive into Google My Business. First thing is, what is it and why is it so important in today's digital era? Very simply put, Google My Business is what used to be the equivalent to what I would say was Yellow Pages back in the day. It's pretty much your listing online, so it makes it very dynamic. It's something that patients or prospective patients are going to find immediately as soon as they go onto Google and put in a search with your clinic name. So why is Google My Business so important in today's era? It's important because it's the first place that patients are going to visit and get some very basic information about your clinic even before they go onto your website. So let's take a look at how this would occur. So I'm just going to type in Natalia Porras Marketing and let's see how our own Google My Business account appears on Google search. So you, your Google My Business is going to be appearing here on the right hand side whenever anyone does any kind of search on Google. And what's important about this is that the most basic information is on here listed. So we have our address, our opening hours, our phone number, um, and any reviews, people are going to be able to see that immediately. So that's kind of the information that you want patients to be able to see within the first 10 seconds of doing any kind of Google search. The second reason why you want to make sure that you are listed on Google My Business properly is so that you could get on Google Maps. So if you look again at this listing here on the right hand side, if you click on directions, that's going to open up the directions directly onto Google Maps. So anyone really that is using Google Maps or even their GPS to get to your clinic, they're going to be able to see this directly on their mobile phone or from their computer even beforehand. Okay, so now you know why it's important to have a Google My Business account listing. Let me show you a step-by-step -step on how you're going to be able to set up your Google My Business account properly, and I'm also going to be giving you some pro tips on how to optimize it. First step is first, you go to google.com slash business, and you simply hit start now. You're going to afterwards just enter your email or phone number, and then you're going to hit next. I'm going to show you the next steps after that. At this point, what you're going to do is you're going to follow all of the steps that Google is actually going to set out for you. You're going to be inputting all of your clinic's information. It's going to actually prompt you to enter all of the information. Just make sure to have no mistakes in the address and the phone number and everything else that it is asking. Really read those questions before hitting submit. Google is going to require that you verify your business by submitting a code that is going to be mailed to your business address. So here you could say, I want a, a postcard by mail, and it may actually take up to 12 days to arrive. You need to input your contact name as well, and you're going to be checking your mail because after that you are going to get a postcard that is going to have, as I mentioned, a code, a verification code, and after you get that, you're going to go back into your Google My Business account and you're going to input that code so that you unlock all of the uh, features that Google My Business has, which is what I'm going to be teaching you now. Okay, so once you get your verification code, it's going to actually look like this. This is a picture of a verification code. You're going to insert that verification code into your Google My Business account, and then you're ready to go. So one of the, one of the first things that you want to do is you want to complete your listing. As it says so here on the right hand side, you want to add your hours, your contact information description, and you want to add your logo. So make sure to especially for that logo that you have it handy. The next thing is you want to be adding some photos. So let's go ahead and click on this left hand side directory. And you're going to want to add your logo, your cover, and if you have a video at all, 
make sure that you add all three of those. So that's part of the optimization process. Let's look at what is next. So there's actually a couple more things that I want to show you that you could do on Google My Business to really optimize it and so to make sure that you're actually using it to um, really benefit your practice. One of them, one of the things that I want to show you is uh, posts. The other thing is the newest feature which is called products. And lastly, I want to show you some insights into Google My Business, how to use insights and how to track where customers are coming from. Let's dive into that. If you really want to differentiate yourself from other clinics, you might want to start using posts within Google My Business. That's another way to optimize your account. So you will actually find it here right underneath home. Why are posts important? It's because it's almost like the equivalent of a social media post, but on Google. So you're going to get a lot of views on it as people are searching um, on Google for that specific topic that you're writing about. So there's actually four different types of posts. You could do an update event, offer, and product. I'm going to be showing you how to add an update. An update, as I mentioned before, is very similar to a social media post. So you want to be brief, but you also want to make sure to use a photo or any kind of visual within your posting. Google actually gives you some great ideas that you could look into. So just click there and you're going to receive some sample posts in there that are going to be providing you the kind of visual and even the length of caption that you want to use within your post. So that's what you want to do. You would add your photo right here and then you write your post. As you could see, you have a maximum of 1500 characters for your post and you could actually add a button based on what you want people to do. So that's a great way to actually get a bit of traffic back to your website and get people to be looking at a post that you've created. The difference between an update and an event and an offer and a product, I think it's very self-explanatory. An event would have a start date and an end date and you could actually add an event time to it. And then an offer, same thing as the event, it has a start date and an end date and you could add more options and you could actually have a, a coupon code on there and a link to redeem an offer. So that's getting a bit more complex, but this is something that you could do. For example, if you have a discount on say teeth whitening and you've created a coupon code because you want people to go back to your website and be able to use that when they're booking their appointment things to show you on Google My Business that you should be optimizing is one of their latest features, which is called products, and it's still actually in beta mode. So let's take a look at what that is. If you go to the left hand side on the menu, you go to products. Let's take a look at this. So we've actually already added some of the products that we offer um, for dentists. What you want to do is that what you start off with is you add a product collection and then within that product collection or category, you could add the different treatments or services. So what I would suggest, an example of that would be you start off with something like cosmetic dentistry and under cosmetic dentistry, based on how you're categorizing your services, you could add, for example, veneers and you could add, let's say, Invisalign or anything else that would fit within that cosmetic dentistry um, category. Um, as a matter of fact, you could add all of your product or service categories within here. And the benefit of this is that because it's in beta mode and it's one of the latest features that Google has just launched, it actually gets fantastic, what I like to call digital real estate, prime real estate. It really, it goes underneath that listing on Google My Business. So once someone is searching for you, it's going to appear underneath your listing. Uh, these are your top products. So you might want to also be selective because it is prime real estate. Okay. So what, how do you do this? You simply, you would add here your product collection name. So that's the, the main category. So let's say cosmetic dentistry is the one. And then um, really what you do is you're going to want to add a product image, you're going to add your product or service name, and then underneath this, you're going to continue um, adding description. You don't necessarily have to add a product price. If you want to, you could do that, or you could also add a range. So you could have a minimum price and then a maximum price for that specific treatment. You add your product description, description and then at the end, you add a button like so. So it could be just learn more or um, I would actually just use learn more so that they go to your website and they actually book an appointment with you. Okay, last but not least are insights and there is so much data that you can get, gather from there to try and understand um, how to better use Google My Business for your business. Um, there's 
a ton of information. As I said, the two things that I would look at the most would be total views within this last month and then customer actions within this last month. Um, it's very important to see how many people are actually visiting your website directly from your Google My Business listing. Here you, we could see that um, this is telling us that we have 181 visits and for example, 131 people call directly from that Google My Business account, which actually shows you the importance of setting up your Google My Business account properly. We hope you found this video useful and that you were able to set up your Google My Business account or at least optimize it to your best ability. Let us know if you have any questions and we will make sure to answer back in the comments. Make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues if you think that it was, that it was valuable. And do not forget to download our four step guide, which gives you the basics on how to get started online with your full digital ecosystem. This was Natalia Porras. Thank you very much for watching.